This is greater stuff. I feel alive. This is greater stuff. I feel alive. This is greater stuff. I feel alive. This is greater stuff. This is greater stuff. I feel alive. This is greater stuff. I feel alive. This is greater, 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 greater. Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. It's Leo speaking. Today I have the pleasure to introduce you to Ace Studio. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. So, what is Ace Studio? Well, Ace Studio is a voice synthesis workstation. It's a particular one because it uses the power of AI through cloud computing and therefore you need an internet connection to use it. Um, as you can see, I'm inside a MacBook. It's uh, actually a MacBook Air M1 chip because a studio can also run on Silico, Intel, and also Windows as well. Um, let's start from the top and let's have a look at the about of the application. Here you find your terms and use your privacy policy, your website and contact information in Discord link as well if you need to follow up. Importantly, you have set of preferences which you might want to check as you start to use the application. Things like the language, the default singing language, uh, what type of animation, flip position and dismiss, the, if you want to install the plugin or now, if you report, want to report on crashes. But more importantly, what are your audio settings? In this case, the type of device, which for me, in this case, is a core audio, any input devices or output devices and channel. And of course, you can set your sample rate, buffer size and latency as well and count in if you want to use the metronome. You have an update also option, which allows you to update the version of uh, Ace Studio. It comes, of course, with uh, a number of languages, Chinese, Japanese and, of course, English. As you can see here, you have an option for the account, which you can use to sign in. Of course, you have transport control here. Click and hold here on the tempo. You can move left and right to adjust it. And you can see immediately here on, in the, this middle area, which is the area where you arrange all your tracks. You can see real time changes similar here on bits uh, per bar, which is really nice. You can go full back. You can play, you can record and you can activate metronome, you can uh, activate the loop, yes or no, you can see here. And then you can have auto flip on and off. Here is your timing as you're running. You can export also what you have created, which is very useful. And as you can see on the right hand side of that uh, text where it says export audio is also showing the shortcut that you can use on your device to activate the particular option, which again, is very handy. Following on, um, at the top here, you have, uh, um, starting from the left, you have uh, really uh, the selection for the single library, which is what you see at the moment here. It is activated. It allows you to search for uh, a singer, like so. It allows you to use uh, tags here. Uh, if you have any custom singer defined, of course, you can select him. And, uh, and if not, you can choose a singer from the library. And you have the name there, the information about the license, and you can click and drag like so and drop it against a singer track. OK, when you finish, of course, you can deactivate that um, um, that single library sidebar of you. OK, and you can activate also the property here of the particular track. In this case, is a single track. And here you can see the um, the singer and information about the singer. OK, you can actually use the multiple seeds so you can drag and drop seeds like so, which is really nice. And then you can adjust independently if you have a um, unlink 
like so you can move the timber and uh, the style up and down or if you have them linked like so you move only of course uh, the top timber and you adjust this the style as well okay so and of course you have pump position you have the level as well when you finish of course deactivate it and then you have a mix of you which allows you to solo and pump position level position the same level position for the um, master truck as well as you can see from the view here we have a single truck view and we have a, an audio truck view now here it says the name of the project which is entitled because of course is a new project i just opened the application but you can open project create new project save project save them with a different name open recent project and you can import audio import midi and you and you can export audio and export MIDI as well, which is really great. And then, of course, the other menu are just the standard um, controls that you would expect. This part here is a um, zoomed out version of what you see here in the arranging view for all the tracks and clips. Here you have also a audio track, okay, which at the moment doesn't have anything. If I double click on it, it allows me to actually import an audio file and as you can see it has imported which is really uh, great okay you can add track like so in this case is a blank track and of course if you want to change the type because the property you can set it as an audio track or as a singer track as you prefer of course if you don't want it right click and select delete so when you right click on a track you can copy paste it duplicate it cut it delete it mute it solo it create a blank new track and change the color of that particular track which is very useful indeed now if you maximize the view here it shows you the clip that you have selected details in this case is an audio clip and you have a fantastic option here which allows you to convert a cappella to midi clip so you click on it and it gives you this option you're checking on the queue because it's using the cloud it's a beta of course at the time of recording this video you select the language if to apply pitch to the cappella and then you click convert and it does that for you really nice now let's create a brand new project and we are not going to save Okay, and let's close that particular view. So again, we have a single track and an audio track. If I double click on a single, single track, I create a clip. As you can see, I can move it left and right as I like. Let's move it at the beginning. Right click on it. I can copy, paste it, duplicate it, cut, split it, consolidate it if I split it. And delete it, rename it. I can have looped selection. So it will loop only the particular clip, which is really nice. It's based on the selection. And then I have... Um, option for set grid and snap which is based on cell per bit okay so if i double click on that particular um clip at the very bottom it opens up the detail view of that particular clip which i can maximize like so or i can close it now if you double click where then where it says single track clip zero you can change the name like so pretty straightforward now double click again and in the middle of the clip and here we are it's like a piano roll view and here you have option again for your uh, um, setting your grid which is fantastic then you have uh, tools to select notes tool to draw notes to split notes to um, draw pitch and um, with some options as well um, you can fix brush um, you can uh, um, erase page, you can add vibrato, you can add modulation, so a lot of different options. So let's click on draw note for simplicity. You can see it's a lighting note and, uh, and I just created a random um, melody. And you can see the default language is English, which, um, which is fine. Now let's close. You can see there, and what I'm going to do as well, I'm going to set um, uh, perhaps um, somewhere there the position, right click, or maybe uh, do it uh, like so. I can add a mark if I want to, okay, which uh, can be really useful. And uh, if not, I can say split like so. And then I can uh, drag this, this uh, part of the clip, which I don't need anymore, and I can say delete. Okay, now double click again on the particular clip. As you can see, we have lyrics, which says only 
ha 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 the vote which is what uh, uh, it, it, it's okay now let's uh, also open the uh, single library and uh, drag and drop um, a singer because we need to have a singer um, enable okay now let's go back at the beginning click play it will uh, do some AI AI rendering and then it will play okay that's simple as, um, as so let's do um, again loop as selection so let's do it like so okay um let's double click again on the uh, clip which is now is properly looped okay perfect so as i was mentioning a moment ago you can um, use different tools for example you can say i want to do some vibrato and you can then set it as you like you move up and down like so or you can say I'm going to add some modulation like so right and then back at the beginning rewind click play AI rendering and then uh, 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 uh. of course it depends on uh, uh, what you created of course you can make the notes a little bit longer which would help uh, like so Okay, let's try again now. And now you can see um, a little better uh, the different control and you can adjust uh, the different option for vibrato. Okay. And, and of course you can apply to others as well. And uh, the thing I really like as well is that you can split note, but you can also draw pitch which is really clever, really nice. Um, again, let's play. Okay, and if you right click and you can copy, paste, duplicate, cut, delete, select everything, you can edit the lyric, which uh, is really great. And then you can type a word. You have some option here, of course, and when you finish, click OK and then you have uh, uh, that lyric which has been added in okay uh, properly and um, let's rewind click play and you can you can continue like so so why not we're going to say this one will be is and then I'll press OK Um, just made it up really and not paying too much attention of the words and um, okay and now let's click play is this your cell uh, is this your cell uh, is this your cell uh? Okay, at the bottom here, you find uh, different uh, additional tools, really, to customize uh, your voice, right? And uh, different parameters, different AI synthesis parameter. You can add breath, okay, where there is, of course, space between uh, the different notes. And um, you can add uh, air, and you can simply draw, which is really fantastic. And you can add falsetto, tension, can change the energy and the format as well. Okay. And then of course, play. Is this your saddle? Is this your saddle? Is this so it's um it's truly truly amazing. It works uh, um so well. So um now let's uh, go to um this view here. So let me show you now that I can, for example, change the voice head. So I can say, um, uh, take this one and move it up here. So we have two voices and then I can adjust a little bit like so and click play. Is this your style? Is this your style? Okay. And let's um put another one in like bianca and uh, try again is 
Is this your style? Is this your style? So you can start here that I'm mixing voices and therefore you create your uh, your unique voice, which, which is uh, fantastic. Of course, you can import also background audio here on your audio track. You can have multiple tracks, so which is fantastic. You can duplicate them as you have seen. And uh, now you can slightly move like so and then play. Is this? Of course, it will have to re-render. Is this style? style? Is this? Is your, this style? Your, style? Is this? Fantastic. So you can really create some sophisticated composition. So the power of uh, voice synthesis is at your fingertips. I hope you enjoyed and the tutorial and demonstration of a studio is a fantastic app please give it a try it's very simple just go to the website and uh, download it really and have uh, an account um i hope you enjoyed as always see you next time bye